Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your man Crytek Jordan here. And over the last few days, I've been uh, tweeting a lot on Twitter about Black Ops 3. Now, I know it sounds pretty crazy in that we haven't even seen a trailer for Black Ops 3, but I have a uh, few things I want to pretty much uh, bring up that I don't really think anyone's been thinking about. So I've been doing a lot of research for Treyarch's next Call of Duty game that will be made, and it came to mind that the Black Ops series can't really be over yet. Not yet. So I was doing research for Black Ops 3, and pretty much nothing came up besides uh, some fake trailers that some other YouTubers had. So then, I pretty much remembered playing Black Ops 2 and realizing that the game had multiple endings, three to be exact. And then out of these three endings, Two of them popped out to me. One is where Menendez escapes a prison that he's held in and ends up killing Woods. And that's that's pretty crazy. He pretty much got his revenge. And then the other ending we have David Mason. He ends up meeting his father. So that's that's pretty crazy right there. And you're probably thinking to yourself, how does this really uh relate to Black Ops 3? Well, I think that the storyline for Black Ops 3 can be based off on these endings, of course. I mean, with Raul Menendez pretty much alive, his group, Cordis Die, um, they could pretty much take over more governments. I mean, there's really nothing shocking about that. But, you know, the leader's back. They could pretty much do whatever. But then now we have, uh, we have Mason. So, like I said, he meets his father. And it's been a long time, you know, even Woods, Woods meets him because Woods thought he pretty much killed him. He shot him. So, um, after meeting his father, there's a, there's a scene where it shows a huge riot in Washington, uh, D.C. Rain from the White House, you know, and then the White House being taken over. It's up in flames. It's just a lot of, uh, chaos. So this just pretty much had me thinking that you're going to have to use... David Mason again. Why? Um, I thought because probably take out take down uh Cordis die. I mean it was just a crazy idea I had. But when you put things together it kinda makes sense. I mean, but that's why I came up for now. On the campaign's behalf. Now on to zombies, because I seen a lot of people asking about zombies. Pretty much all I can really say is that I believe track will bring in robot zombies why because you know you're in the future it makes a lot of sense to bring in robot zombies just having uh... He regular zombies i wouldn't say it gets boring but it'll just be more interesting if they had robot zombies how would this happen i don't know a computer virus i mean i'm not really the developers of the game so i can't really answer that for you but i just thought about computer virus for some reason just messes up robots or something. We lost the lead. So this is what I really have for my little game theory on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now I'm not saying this game will be made or any of this will happen, but just it's just a quick little theory here. So with this being said, I would like to hear from you guys in the comment section below about what you think is going to uh, happen in Black Ops 3. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you guys like a video, leave it a thumbs up. Until next time, Crytex out.